It's really a tough job being an MPV in the Indian market. You have to deliver on so many fronts. For instance, you have to deliver adequate performance to carry people and luggage yet be fuel efficient. You need to be rugged yet comfortable. You need to have space for all your passengers without being too big. And of course, at the end of the day, it shouldn't feel like a van and be difficult to drive. And of course, it has to look good. So this is Chevrolet's new MPV for India, the Enjoy. And it has to deliver on all these counts. So we are going to take our first drive now and see whether it can or not. Okay, so where exactly will Chevrolet's Enjoy fit into the MPV category? Well, if you look at the footprint, it is a couple of notches smaller than Mahindra's Zylo and Toyota's Innova. In terms of size, it better matches Maruti Suzuki's Ertiga. However, this Chinese origin MPV's 4.3 meters of overall length is just a shade more than the Maruti. And when you just look at it, you can see that its 1750 millimeters of height is a lot more. But when it comes to width and the wheelbase, the Enjoy isn't the biggest. In terms of styling, the Enjoy is a bit of a mix. It has a charming urban face, but it doesn't have a Chevy typical split grille. However, the fused headlight and grille section has been neatly designed. The kinked headlights throw out a rising waistline, which adds some flair to the otherwise flat sides. The rear is dominated by large vertical tail lamps, and there's a massive tailgate that swings open to provide access to a big boot. Thanks to its monocoque chassis, there is a low and flat floor, which gives great access to the boot. While the third row can be removed, with it in place, boot space is good only for a few soft bags. Okay, now let's get inside, starting right at the front. The ambience inside the cabin isn't too bad either. The cabin is light and airy. The visibility is good. But there is something missing. Okay, so when you hop inside this LTZ variant of the Chevrolet Enjoy, you won't go wow. The plastics feel tough, there's nothing really special or you know feel good about them in that sense and the center console design just feels quite old school so it lacks that feel good factor, that specialness about it. And on the ergonomics front, for the driver, the pedal box, it's a bit iffy but if you put that aside you'll see that space on the inside is really quite good. The front seats have adequate support, with seat height adjust available for the driver's seat. The steering rake adjustment though is a bit tight, and ergonomics for the driver can be a bit iffy. In-cabin storage, like useful cubby holes, are in short supply. Equipment levels are a bit disappointing too. There's no Bluetooth, no climate control, and the music system is a simple single din unit. When you move back to the middle row, you'll find that you get a lot of room there. The seats are comfortable and the big windows really do help with a sense of spaciousness. The sliding captain seats on the top of the line variant lets you use the room optimally. The Enjoy also gets a dedicated blower and evaporator to provide solid cooling for the second and third rows. And when you move back to the third row, you'll find that it is quite usable. The sliding middle row increases room easily and makes the third row quite good, even for adults. Headroom is also nice, although typical of most third rows, under the high support isn't great. Now let's hit the road to see what the Chevrolet Enjoy is like in action. This MPV will come with the choice of two motors both of which will be mounted in the engine bay in a longitudinal format. What that means is, it will point north to south instead of side to side. These motors will send power to the rear wheels. There is a 1.3 litre diesel engine, the same one that's used in the sales saloon and the Yuva hatchback. The second is a new 1.4 litre four-cylinder petrol motor. Let's see how this petrol engine performs. Chevrolet claims that this motor develops 102 bhp of power at 6000 rpm and 13.3 kilograms of torque at 4400 rpm.
From standstill, the Enjoy accelerates to 60 in 5.7 seconds and 100 km an hour comes up in 14.9 seconds. While straight line performance is decent, the motor doesn't feel very impressive. This motor really doesn't feel refined and when you rev it up, it does feel just so coarse and strained right here. And that's when it's doing its best work at that point. So low down in the rev range, it's sluggish. When you rev it up, it starts going, but you really don't want to do that. So the refinement isn't great. And the India accelerations also show that the petrol motor of the Enjoy isn't particularly sprightly. It takes 12.9 seconds from 20 to 80 km an hour in third gear. And the run from 40 to 100 km an hour in fourth gear takes a laid back 20.3 seconds. All in all, petrol performance isn't the Enjoy's strongest point. Now let's see how the 1.3 litre diesel motor performs. In the Enjoy, this motor develops 73 bhp of power and 19.1 kilograms of torque. And this is channelized via a 5 speed manual transmission to the rear wheels. On the diesel engine, the fixed geometry turbo starts building torque from 1500 rpm. You can feel it when you're driving around and it just builds cleanly after that, peaking at about 2000 rpm and keeps pulling nicely through the mid range, which makes driving it really quite easy. Compared to the diesel sales saloon and the Yuva hatchback, turbo lag is even lesser here. It feels like you're on boost from 1600 rpm. As a result, the run from 20 to 80 km an hour in 3rd gear is dispatched in a respectable 14.4 seconds. In 4th gear, the run from 40 to 100 km an hour takes 18.76 seconds. It's the strong mid-range that makes driving this 1.3 ton MPV a fairly hassle-free task. The motor pulls well till approximately 4000 rpm. After that, power does trail off. The Enjoy comes equipped with McPherson struts at the front and a 5-link setup at the rear. And as we have seen with other recent products from Chevrolet, the suspension hardware works really quite well. Now the Enjoy suspension is quite well suited for Indian roads. The way it just rolls over broken stretches is really quite impressive. You kind of wonder whether they are there or not, especially at low speeds. But as the speeds rise and if the surfaces are rougher, then you will find that there is some amount of pitching that you experience inside the cabin. The suspension also does a great job of taming this tall MPV's road manners. From behind the wheel, it's not too bad to drive. The steering wheel is quite direct and that's always a good tool to have. The suspension, although on the softer side, uh, will have the car rolling around corners, but straight away out on the highway, stability is pretty nice. All in all, Chevrolet's Enjoy has managed to make a mark in its first drive. Okay, so can the Chevrolet Enjoy cut it as an MPV here in India? Well, for the most part, yes. Let's start with the styling. It's got a smart face. The rest of the design can seem a bit boxy, but it's been treated well, and I could see this passing off as a family vehicle quite easily. On the inside, good space in the first and second rows, and along with the third row, this feels like a genuine seven-seater. What lifts the experience for the passengers is the suspension which really can soak up bumps very well. And even if you're behind the wheel, you'll find that this is a well-mannered MPV to drive around. You also have two motors to choose from. The petrol doesn't have strong performance and really feels a bit unrefined. The diesel though will surely account for the bulk of the sales and offers good tractability from lower down in the rev range and will suit the character of this MPV quite well. But the biggest thorn in the Enjoy side is the in-cabin experience. It really doesn't have that premium feel to it. The plastics and the design just feels tough and basic. It lacks that specialness to it in that sense. But overall, the Enjoy does have uh, a lot going for it and can fight it out in the MPV segment. But there are some formidable competitors and to go up against them, GM need to ensure, absolutely need to ensure that the Enjoy comes with a cracking price tag and that would set the ball rolling for it in the MPV segment in India.